right, guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. And we are getting really close, I think. I think this is my truck over here. But I'm picking up a truck with a lift gate because I have to take the helifin motor down to the shop so we can start on the build tomorrow. No, tomorrow's Friday. We're starting on Saturday. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did last time. I'm probably gonna park it right there just for now. Go on in, get checked in, and then head down to the garage to get it loaded. And then I'm also going to dealer because I have a wide body kit that I'm picking up um, that I'm doing for a customer. So I'll show you guys what that is once I get there and uh, we'll talk about that. But yeah, for now we're gonna go get checked in. I'm pretty sure that's mine because they called me before I got here. And then uh, go get that thing loaded. All right, so here's the plan. Um, today's Thursday, we're gonna load up the freight, take everything down to flagship. That's where I'm getting the build done at. Um, and then Saturday morning is when we're starting the build for July 4th weekend. And um, we're hoping to get it done by Sunday. So if everything works out well, all the parts are there and we don't run into any issues, it should be running by Sunday. And then we can get it tuned that same day. I got my uh, my tuner on standby so we can get it done. But I hope everything works well. Um, I mean, from what I know, everything should be plug and play other than a couple things like the O2 sensors. I think we got to replace them. Um, I don't think we have to replace the oil pan. Oil pan should be the same. And uh, we gotta install the new flywheel that came in the crate. So other than that, everything should be an easy step, but hope we don't run into any issues and we can get it running by Sunday. Okay, so I finished up loading at the dealership. I'm back at the house now, getting ready to load the helipad motor. But I want to show you guys what I got. And this is not even everything. I'm still missing a couple pieces. For the most part, so I started doing these uh, wide body conversions. I started offering that a couple weeks ago. And we're, we already have like three that we are getting ready for customers. So um, everything's from Mopar, as you can see. We don't do nothing from the aftermarket. So yeah, bumpers, fenders, this is all off a uh, charger wide body. Bumpers, fenders, the flares, uh, fog light covers, rocker moldings. So basically everything that comes from the factory, we order it and then me and Flex should put it together, paint it and put it on. So, yeah, I'm breathing heavy because it's been running around. Um, I got some pallets because I'm gonna use these when we're dropping the crate off my red eye. It'll be a lot easier to keep stable. And we got this pallet jack to go and unload the car or unload the motor, bring it into the truck. But yeah, that's uh, we'll start unboxing these in another video and show you guys what's in there. I'm going to move these out the way, we'll drop the crate right over here, and then head down to flagship to unload it. Alright, now I'm going to bring down the pallet jack so we could uh, lift up that crate. i got to hold this bond down while keeping this thing stable. Alright, so... Um, this thing over here is way too small to put the pallet with the jack at one time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna load the crate right over here and put the pallet jack next to it, lift them together, then unload them. Because the last time I did it, I had a smaller truck and it uh, was pretty scary. I think I'm gonna tilt it over. Also, the last time you guys were here on the last video, the garage had no power. So I didn't even uh, get to check if my 300 was all right after the flood, but we got power back yesterday. I was able to get in there and everything was cool. I was scared as hell the first time I opened it, I thought something was wrong. But there she is. We also got our oil. We got all the stuff we need to load up, the accessor accessories and the wiring. That all gotta go. But let me start up the car for you guys. 
Hopefully I haven't done that in a while. By the way, remember how um, when I was trying to remote start it, when I was locked in the garage and I couldn't open the door and it was just honking one time. So it turned out is uh, if you remote start the car twice, you have to reset it manually by getting inside the car and starting it with the bind, or it's not gonna start up again, it's just gonna honk once. So I found that out uh, through a forum I was reading online. But enough with that, let's uh, start loading the stuff up and then uh, drive it down to the shop. set behind here I put some pressure on it so it's not gonna be rolling back and forth now I'm gonna go back to the garage grab the stuff that I need and then we gotta head out we're running late on time already so the only thing I got left is the oil and the accessories with the wiring I'm gonna get that in the truck and then we should be good to go now, all right guys we're ready to roll everything's on the truck now the oil the accessories the crate the body kit I got for a different car. Now we're gonna put this back together. <laughs> Head out. All right, we made it. Now I gotta back up, start unloading the shit. Look how this horn sounds. <laughs> Good? Yeah, you want? Get more That's good. 
Put it here for now, on those other stuff. Right here? here? Next to the tire. Let me turn it around. Slow ass back and keep up now, bro. You in trouble. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this there. Alright, you the exhaust. Exhaust man, both gas good stuff. Done? What's that? Exhaust man, full gaskets. This is the wide body kit. Wait, where is it? Oh, these are the empty boxes. We put everything in one box. We got two bumpers. Gotta stick out for the flares and all the extra stuff that's in there. All right, guys. So that's it. We are almost ready to get started on this thing. In two more days, we're gonna start uh, stripping it apart and get the new motor in. So what I got to do tonight is take off the PCM uh, from the red eye and then drop it off to Livernoise tomorrow, tomorrow morning, and have them unlock their tune. Because like I said in the last video, I am not um, tuning with Livernoise. I have another guy tuning it for me and liver noise puts a tune on their locks no one else can touch it so i got a hold of them just said drop it off and then we'll unlock it for you and you can take it back so that's what i'm gonna do i can't um if i wait till the weekend they're gonna be closed for the fourth of july weekend and then i'm gonna be screwed and i can't tune the car and get it ready on sunday so that's the plan we're gonna take it off tonight drop it off and then get it back and then start tuning it on the weekend after we get the motor installed and get this thing started up see how it sounds so that's it. Dropped off the truck, had to go put some diesel in it. I drove about 52 miles. Oh, they already moved it. But um, that's a wrap for today, man. Uh, stay tuned for the weekend. We're gonna have so much going on. That project should be done within two or three days. Of course, the video is gonna be broken down because um, I can't upload hours of footage. So wait on that. And then I got that guy's charger. He has a 2019 dot charger. It's a regular SRT and we're converting it to a wide body. Like I said, if you're interested in something like that, um, the whole kit, OEM, with the wheels and tires, and install and paint, all that will cost you 10,000. So if you wanna get that done, you can also DM me on Instagram. Uh, same thing as my YouTube, it's Cal underscore SRT. But other than that, if you're new, make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys back in the next one.